Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Royce from Pedal and Metal. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Hot Wheels new for 2018 Lamborghini Countach pace car. And this is from uh, 1981. And we will take a look at it. Now this is the red one. First we'll examine it in the, its stock state. You got the awesome artwork. Always feels good to rip these open. This is the first time I'm, oops, I dropped it. First time I'll be handling one of these. I have not uh, looked at one of these out of the pack. I do like the Tampos, how they have the the uh, 50th Hot Wheels that says 50, uh, 50 Grand Prix, and that's uh, kind of a play on it. The original ones from 81 would have said, I think, like the 40th Grand Prix of Monaco or something like that on the side. If you look on Google Images, you can see that um, they had, I believe, like three or four different colors, maybe five. Sorry about the phone. So anyway, this is a metal with a plastic base. And it's not bad. The casting is fabulous on this. Um, I like the wheel choice as well. It's not really the correct wheels. The, the correct wheels would have been had five holes, but I think these uh, new wheels from Hot Wheels, boy, this sucker wants to roll. I'll tell you it really fast. But anyway, they. Uh, I think the wheel choice is great though for this. Uh, they've got some issues with the paint on the hood there you can, or on the roof. Some pretty bad stippling, little tiny stippling and bubbles there. But uh, originally, what I was planning on doing was try to get rid of this light bar, but I don't think I'm going to do that now. I think I have some other plans for this car, which I'm hoping. I was kind of hoping to take this is out of one of these bouncy balls you can get at the dollar store. And if you look here, they're double sided. You get two of them for a dollar. They come this way, they're glued together inside of a rubber ball. When you hit it, the contact strikes another side of the the spring, strikes metal, and then hence is the uh, t turns it on. You have red and blue, just like a tiny police car. And the, the actual pace car would have had red and blue lights on the roof. I'm going to attempt to see. Let's cut this sucker open. I want to see if we can get this out of here. Uh, I think I do have another one already out somewhere. Though. I don't know where it is, but we'll go ahead in here and cut this one out. Cut it apart, and then you can get a better idea. So there it is. And it's just in a rubber sleeve. Uh, it's got three batteries. We might be able to redo this and only have one battery, perhaps. But I'm thinking... It would be kind of cool to actually add lights to this. I don't know how hard this is going to be to, this may not work. So let me, let me drill this out and then we'll take a closer look. This may not work. I may end up having to just ditch the whole idea, but it gives you guys uh, some ideas as well. Uh, let me drill this out. I'll be right back. Okay. Got that drilled out. This is the first time really looking at one of these, so I'm kind of trying to figure this out as I go here. This is how I usually do everything, which is probably not appropriate, but I usually wing wing a lot of these. Uh, I don't put a lot of thought into how I'm going to do it, but I think I'm going to drill out. Let's see here. How we're, I think we'll drill some holes. We're going to need to drill up through here and here, these two spots. So you want to be kind of careful. You know, watch your fingers too. Let's try 
right, let's see here. Keep going. So I'm going to take your, your time. We'll do a little trial fit here and see if these would fit. Oh, they'll be perfect. Perfect size. Why is that phone? Why do they keep calling back? It's so annoying. Hello? Hello from the one minute survey team at DCCC. I'm Camilla and in November there will be. So annoying. So we got to figure out here, the red would be, the red will be on the left side and the blue is on the right side of the real cars. Certainly going to try. This is probably not going to be pretty here. You guys will probably make fun of me, but some of this is, might not be pretty, but no one will see this once I get this trimmed out underneath. Let's try it. We gotta make some room without breaking through. Ah, I think that might be awesome though. Look at it. Let's turn the lights off. This might be totally, totally redeem yourself. Oop. This might be really cool though when it's done on film there on the video it looks like the blue looks a lot brighter than the red that is going to be just freaking awesome if I can get that pull out off so I'm doing this as I'm filming all this with you guys so let me turn the lights back on so this is uh, like I said as before I, I wing pretty much everything I do which is probably not always a good thing but who cares right so now I don't know if that's gonna if I can get all this to fit I think I might be able to pull this off though Well, let me do some more cutting and fitting here, and then I'll be right back, because this is going to take a while. Okay. Did, uh, tried to stuff this in the best I could by taking a Dremel tool and cut away a bunch of parts and whatnot and made the interiors pretty much thin as paper in some areas, uh, but still wouldn't fit with the batteries the way they were stacked up so what I'm gonna end up doing here is I super glued the batteries in a like a V shape here and that'll lay behind the seats and I'm gonna attempt to solder this together it's gonna be probably a lot of work but we'll see how it goes may not stick to the top of the battery which I'm seeing that already I think that might not work eh, maybe it will It's hot. Get some pliers. Uh, 
Okay, after getting this figured out, I ended up, that didn't work. I tried super glue, that didn't work. Um, so I ended up just taking two fatter uh, batteries, which were 754 out of this pack from Harbor Freight I had laying around. And it's kind of nice having junk like that laying around. So I just took, uh, cut a piece of electrical tape in half and where you can use shrink tubing. I put the two batteries together. They have to be stacked. And what I found out here too is I think I had a flip-flopped here. I soldered tails on. This will be the negative side of the LEDs. And then you have two tied together, which actually that was the positive. This one, I believe, and this is the negative here. Either way, um, I finally got it to work. So we'll move on to detailing and later on I'll tie that all up and that should be pretty cool. I can't find any photos on Google of the interiors of these cars. I think they were 1981 through 83, the uh, safety cars. So I am just did the flat black. I'm just going to do red seat belts since I can't really find anything online currently. There's a lot of Monaco a lot of pictures but couldn't find any of the interior and normally no one's gonna see this anyway because I think the way this glass being blue it's really difficult to uh, to see in the car anyway But we know it's there, right? I wasn't sure if you guys saw in the other video or in the other part, I ended up chopping this all up, but I did the flat black for the exhaust section that just drops in the back. This gives me a lot of additional room here by I had to do a lot of cutting the part of the light bar I wanted to save. I cut that out of the gray section of plastic and glued that together. But I did a lot of just basically whittling away with my X-Acto trying to give me room and uh, using my what I call the Dremel, my dental tip on my Dremel tool. I just kept kind of nibbling away and making some extra room. I'm not sure if that was really necessary in the long run, but uh, it should be able to go together here then. But uh, until then, we're gonna detail up the body. Uh, they have two huge screw ups here. I do like how they have the attempt to paint in the black here, but it's too Kind of went out of the bounds there. I'll fix that then. The tampos actually, they're shifted on the front, but they, it's a great attempt though. I think they look pretty cool. This, uh, the huge NACA ducks on the side, they are all black, according to the, the reference photo from the 1983 Monaco car. Once that dries, I can do some touch-ups. I think that's gonna look sharp. The other thing we might wanna hit is try to hit this scoop right here. Can I give it some visual interest that there's actually, it's not very thick here, the metal, but just so it kinda looks like a real scoop there which I don't know if they were functional or not on the real car, probably not, but they were certainly wild, weren't they? Even just doing that looks cool there, but the real car though, this was all black, so we're gonna do it like the real car. 
This doesn't have the OZ graphics on it like the real one. It doesn't say Monaco 30 on the side, but that's okay. I actually like the the 50 logo. looks pretty cool, I think. The casting is just fabulous on this. I don't know. When you get it out and actually hold it in your hands, it's very substantial. It feels right. The uh, size is... I think they did a great job with this. It's really what a fun concept of the safety car, you know, uh, for Grand Prix. And it's something that I think both kids and adults will like. I don't want to end up messing this up, so I'm going to have to be very careful here. I got to do some touch ups. These cars look great without the huge ugly US bumpers uh, this is there's got two there's two driving lights and then there's black slats here which I'm just gonna hit the top I'm not sure if I can get down into the bottom There's a small scoop here, a larger one here. And for whatever reason, now my pen's like going over the top with paint flowing out. So I'm gonna hopefully this doesn't keel over here. I think my Chinese pens are on their way out. I think they're finally dying, I think. I definitely feel more comfortable when I use my brush, believe it or not, than a pen. I don't, I don't really care for the way this is coming out. Oh. My cron, which one's this one? A 25. I think we can use my 25 for that. You don't want them to be too visible. You want them to be nice and crisp. And this is tangerine from testers. I know a lot of you guys hate when I use testers and you have a lot of you guys rip on me for it, but I'm just comfortable using Enamels, you just got to do what you want to do, and I'll do what I want to do. We'll leave it at that. So, enamels aren't for everybody, but I like the way they flow, and I like the the way they when they dry. Pose them out of the acrylics. Okay, I'm back. I uh, don't even want to tell you how many hours I spent on this. It's pretty ridiculous. Uh, I would like to solder the wires directly to these two batteries. But anyway, for now, I just kind of cut thin strips of um, electrical tape, kind of wrapped tight around these copper wires. But this was a lot of work. I don't know if I'd recommend this to anybody. I'm sure you can buy kits off of eBay. Uh, it's a lot of work, but I think the results are going to be kind of cool. Just I did a lot of carving away, as I think I showed this earlier, to um, make a little bump out of here. And just a lot of carving to get 
this to fit in here, but I think the results are gonna be pretty cool. I wasn't sure if you guys saw. Uh, see, it still might need a little bit. I think once I drill and tap and get it to hold, hold it together with the rivets, I think it's gonna be pretty cool. We'll turn the lights off here once and see how it looks. What I like about this is you can, there's no kind of a switch or anything. Put my computer to sleep. So it's pretty dark in here, even though it doesn't look it on the camera, but so if you tap it, of course now it's not gonna do it. But usually if you, yeah, if you tap it, there it goes, it comes on. And then after a few seconds, it'll go off. I think that's pretty cool, huh? So there's no kind of switch or anything. Um, I think a lot of people do them. They have wires running underneath into the base. I didn't want anything like that. I want it to be able that you could actually roll it. And, uh, you know, no one even knows it's different. They just think it's a plain one until you tap it. And there you go. So there's no kind of switch. I think that's pretty slick. So that's using a, um, I had two of them, you know, came with one of those rubber balls. The other one here, I kind of screwed up a little bit. The part where the spring is, it got kind of messed up. And it's kind of nice having a backup set that you can play with um, and solder and, you know, do whatever with it. I just had uh, copper wire, which is from, I don't know where this came from, 24 gauge copper wire I was using. And uh just standard uh 60 40 resin core solder and like i said a cheapy uh probably less than ten dollar soldering iron and uh there you go so what i'm going to do is i want to get some shots some shots of this on the turntable some and i hope you guys like that So here it is, all done up and detailed. I think Hot Wheels did a very de fairly decent job on with the tampos. The uh, front ones are a little shifted there, but that's okay. Uh, I did then the two amber ones on the side and the front. Those are really well done. They're actually uh, stock Hot Wheels uh, tampos, and they look great. We'll see here if I can tap it and get the, the lights to come on. Come on. Kind of a fun little build and pretty easy. It did the black lines for the windows and uh, painted that black uh, louver parts there behind the driver windows and the passenger windows there you can kind of see but it didn't doesn't need much detailing to look really cool so i'm pretty happy with it i think the back end turned out fairly decent um kind of did a greeking of the represent with the logos for the lamborghini and the countach uh the countach uh, s logo uh, the paint on this one could be better. It's not, the roof's not that great, but I oh, hope the AC's kicking on, so we're probably going to hear that. And the chroming on some of the wheels uh, is kind of hit or miss, but oh well. Let's kill some of the lights here and play with it. Pretty cool. So there you go. That's the, I believe it's from supposed to be from 1981 through 83, something like that time period. Uh, I went off the 1983 Monaco uh, reference photos that were on Google for the red car. So I'm sure you guys could find them too. So there you go. Thanks for checking it out. I hope you guys like this. And if you like uh, these types of videos, be sure to subscribe. And I also will have stock 
reviews as well, of course, and I have some other channels and the links should be down below. If not, let me know if there are broken links or what, whatever. All right, until next time, I'll see you guys later. All right, bye now.